Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So in this video, I'm going to explain you the theory regarding the skewness and courtesies, the topic of business statistics one, because uh, you are getting a theory question in examination regarding this skewness. So I have decided to give a video, a short, short video, so that you can be able to watch, understand the concept and write in examination the theory regarding skewness. I've already uploaded the problems in the other videos regarding the skewness. Now, what is the meaning of the term skewness? Skewness is a statistical technique which shows, which explains the shape of the distribution. The shape of the distribution means when we draw the graph whether is it a normal curve or symmetric curve that means how the distribution is statistical data when it is collected how the what is the shape of the distribution to understand to explain the shape of the distribution we apply the technique called skewness so the shape of the distribution will be explained like this if the data is completely symmetrical Symmetrical means the equal data is available on uh, around the mean, around the mean value. So the data will be uh, represented by a bell-shaped curve. If you draw a perpendicular line from middle, then equal area will lie on both the sides. This shape is called bell-shaped curve or normal curve or symmetrical curve. So it shows the shape. That means the statistical data which is collected is symmetrical. That means all the values are equally spreaded around the mean value. That is called symmetric. But all the statistical data collected will not be symmetrical. There may be data where it is asymmetrical. Asymmetrical means the, uh, the data will be more on one side than other side. The area will not be equal around the mean. Example like this positively skewed data this positive this curve shows it's a positively skewed data because more area lies on right side and left uh, less area is lying on the left of the perpendicular the perpendicular is the mean value so we are having less values on left side of mean and more values on right side of mean it is called positively skewed distribution opposite to this if more area is lying on left side and less area is lying on the right side, it is called negatively skewed distribution. So to study the shape of the distribution, how the all the values are lying around the mean value. To study the shape of the distribution, we apply the technique called skewness. The so test of skewness, when we can say the data is skewed, this is the skewed data. This is unskewed. There is no skewness involved in normal distribution because equal area lies to the left and right of the uh, perpendicular of the mean value. Here area is not equal so it is called skewed. So skewness, when skewness will be there, what is the test of skewness? First, mean, median, mode do not coincide. When the data is completely symmetrical, mean, median, mode will coincide. That means in a normal distribution, the value of mean, median, mode will be equal. If the mean, median, mode values are not equal, then we can say the data is asymmetrical. That is asymmetrical or skewed data is there when all the three, th three are not equal. Secondly, some of the positive deviations and some of negative deviations will not be equal. If you find out the deviations from mean, the sum of positive deviations and some of the negative deviations will not be equal. Then we can say the data is skewed, skewed data. Quartiles are not equidistant from mean. We have two quartiles, lower quartile, upper quartile, Q1, Q3. If the quartiles are completely equidistant from median, then we can say the data is as, uh, symmetrical. That means the area, the area from median to Q1 and the area from median to Q3 are equal equidistant then we can say normal distribution but if the area is not equal not equidistant that is area from median to q1 and median to q3 are not equal then we can say there is symmetric there is symmetry or skewed data then will not give a bell shaped curve if the if you draw the curve on a graph paper if it is a bell shaped curve, it is a symmetrical. If it is not a bell shaped curve, if you are getting this type of curves, that means the data is 
asymmetrical or skewed data. So these are the tests to be applied to find out whether the data is skewed or not. Now differences between dispersion and skewness. In examination, you may be asked a theory question regarding what are the differences between dispersion and skewness. Both are statistical techniques. Dispersion is a statistical technique which, uh, which explains how the values are scattered around the mean. How all the values are scattered around the mean. That is called dispersion. But this skewness will show the shape of the distribution. It's concerned only with the shape of the distribution, whether it is bell shaped or not. If it is a bell shaped, it is a symmetrical distribution. If it is not a bell shaped, it is a skewed distribution. The only shape is explained by skewness, whereas complete dispersion will show the scatterness of all the items. Secondly, scatterness of the data, direction of data. In case of dispersion, it completely explains how the values are scattered through the, uh, throughout the mean, throughout the mean value. Whereas in this case, in skewness, it will show the shape of the distribution. Next one, composition of shape and series, share of the uh, shape of the series. Composition of the series. That means whether all the data are equally spreaded or not. That will be shown by skewness. But total scatterness will be shown by dispersion. Lastly, dispersion depends on central value. To find out the dispersion, we need central value. The central value is mean or median or mode. But to calculate the skewness, we need the central value and also dispersion. So second degree calculation is the skewness. Because for calculating skewness, we require central value and also we require dispersion. But whereas in case of dispersion, we require only central value to find out the dispersion. So these are the differences between uh, skewness and dispersion. Now comes to measure of skewness. How to calculate the skewness? The absolute measure mean minus mode. Whereas relative measure if you want, a coefficient if you want, the so relative measure of skewness are given by Bowley. First of all, Carl Pearson. Carl Pearson has given a formula to calculate the skewness. So Carl Pearson's formula is known as SKP. And SKP is equal to mean minus mode by standard deviation. Mean minus mode divided by standard deviation. This is a relative measure of skewness given by Carl Pearson. But sometimes mode is ill-defined. If mode is ill-defined, the other formula is 3 into mean minus median by standard deviation. 3 into mean minus median by standard deviation. So this is an alternative formula that will be applied when mode cannot be ascertained. If mode can be ascertained, we will apply this one. One more formula is given by Bowley. So Bowley's formula depends on median and quartiles. It does not depend on mean and mode. The formula which depends on median and quartile is called Bowley's. So Bowley has given SKB, uh, coefficient of skewness given by Bowley is equal to Q3 plus Q1 minus 2 median. Q3 upper quartile, Q1 lower quartile. So upper quartile plus lower quartile minus 2 into median divided by Q3 minus Q1. By using this formula we can get Bowley's coefficient of skewness. So these are the measures of calculating skewness. Now last topic is Curtis's. Another study, another statistical study of the data, statistical data is Curtis's. The form of distribution skewness tells the shape. Skewness will tell the shape of the distribution. Whereas Curtis's will study about the peak of the distribution. Peak of the distribution. What is the shape of the peak of the distribution? So whereas the Curtis's tells whether the shape is normal or not, whether the shape of the distribution is normal or not, that will be explained by Curtis's. So Curtis's tells whether the shape, whether the distribution when plotted on a graph would give a normal curve, a more than normal curve or more peaked. When we draw the curve on a graph paper, whether we are getting a normal curve or more than normal curve or very sharp peak. So what is the shape of the peak that will be disclosed, that will be studied by Curtis's. So from that point of view, if curve is sharply peaked, it is called leptocurtic. 
तो लेप्टोकरटिक कर मीन्स द पीक इज वेरी शार्प लाइक दिस एग्जाम्पल है the uh, peak of this curve bell shaped curve is very sharp so if we are getting a sharp peak curve then it is called leptokurtic curve then if the distribution is more than flat if the top of the peak is completely flat then it will be called as platycurtic platycurtic like this the top the peak is completely flat to platycurtic Last me, a normal distribution is called mesocurtic. If it is neither completely sharply peaked nor it is completely flat, but it is a normal peak, then if the bell-shaped curve is a normal peak, it is called mesocurtic. So three concepts are used: leptocurtic, platycurtic, and mesocurtic. Leptocurtic means sharp pointed peak. It is called leptocurtic. Then platycurtic, very flat peak. It is called platycurtic. Suppose if it is a normal peak, then it is it will be called mesocurtic. So to find out the peak of the distribution, we apply the study of curtises. That's all. So this is the complete explanation about the skewness and curtises. So after watching this video, you will get the conceptual clarity regarding what is the meaning of skewness, what is curtises. You can write the theory question in your examination.